Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Daz Reacts. And today I have an Ant and Deck reaction video for you. And over over the last few weeks here in the UK, there's been a big thing about a school recording of a woke teacher going at another student who refused to acknowledge that another student wanted to identify as a cat. And it, it's brought up a lot of topic of conversation and things like that. And one interesting conversation that I had the other day with someone they turned around and said, well, this was predicted years ago with Ant and Deck when they went undercover on Jeremy Cole. And I was like, what the hell are you going on about? I don't really watch the Saturday Night Takeaway. So I, I had no idea what they was going on about. And they're like, just watch it. So I thought, you know what? I found a link and I have no idea what to expect on this. Apparently, this is just a prank on Jeremy Cole, the USA. That I never even knew that Jeremy Cole went to the USA to do a show to be fair i know he got cancelled here that but i have no idea i had no idea that he went to the us so i have no idea what to expect from this all i've been told is that um one of these two identifies as a cat so other than that i have absolutely no idea let's get into this hope you enjoy see this is why i look over at this screen a lot now because for some reason with this one it didn't want to work so that's why I look over. Let's let's see if this works now. Hopefully. Of the series. Yes, it's the one you've been waiting for, and it's one of our most ambitious stunts yet. Jeremy Kyle's on the show that way. Hello. <laughs> 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 now, sit down, Jeremy. Welcome to the show. Now, are you looking forward to watching this episode of? The Jeremy Kyle show USA? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, let's, Should we just let's, show it? Should we just, just show it? Ju I've just been waiting a long time for this. Let's, this is quite possibly the most embarrassing moment ever, but go on. Let's cut to the chase. Here's what happened. Before we get into this, that like with Jeremy Cole, with the Jeremy Cole show, I used to hate watching it. Like it was one of them things that everyone that I knew watched it. It was like if they didn't work, they was watching Jeremy Cole. If they did work, they'd come home in the evening and watch Jeremy Cole. And it, it's just so annoying because it's the way he talks to people. He's just so patronising. And then especially when it came out that like he was cheating and everything as well. And then he's still going on his show and he's like slagging people off for cheating and that. That yeah. But I actually met him in person. Like I was at a train station in central London and I met him in the bookies and like had a few words with him as well there. That it was actually quite nice, like in person, but yeah, quite patronising on the show. And Ant and I headed to New York for our biggest undercover yet. <laughs> Jeremy Kyle is arguably the most controversial talk show host on British television. Where have you been, then, you waste of space? Famed for his uncompromising methods. I haven't finished. He's a man who doesn't suffer fools gladly. Sit down and behave yourself. And after years of putting liars and cheats under his spotlight... The DNA test results show that the uh, biological father of Lisa's baby is... He can spot a fraud a mile off. I haven't finished. Or can he? We've decided to introduce Jeremy to his most bizarre guests ever in our most ambitious undercover yet. And to do it, we've come here to the land of the weird and the home of the strange. Yes, America! Now, we could have visited the Jeremy Kyle show in the UK, but we wanted to take Jeremy by complete surprise. So instead, we travelled over 3,000 miles with our crack undercover team to the biggest city in America, New York. Jeremy has done over 2,000 shows, but today's will be one he'll never forget when we introduce him to some very, um, eccentric guests. First up, we have plastic surgery addict Mike, that's Deck, who's not quite ready yet, and he's devastated while Janine. And finally, New York's hardest working health and safety supervisor, Howard, that's Ant, who's out on an important mission. So, how are these three people connected? Well, to find out, it's over to Jeremy, who's about to experience one seriously bizarre show. Time to go undercover. Here we go, five seconds. Take five. Four, three, two, one, music. <laughs> Janine, welcome back. Right, my next guest today, Janine, is here to confront her husband, Mike. Now, Janine is devastated because her husband has become obsessed with extreme plastic surgery. Janine says he doesn't want to become someone else, but actually he wants to become something else. <laughs> Janine is on the Jeremy Carl Show. Give a round of applause. How are you? 
Really nice to meet you. Thank you very much indeed. You all right? Yeah. Sorry. Um, I read this this morning and I'm like, really? I know. How long have you been with this guy? Um, I've been with him for like six years. And um, we met at church, and um, his cat Smudge died when we were going out. Sorry? His cat died. Smudge Smudge was his name. Let's just slow down a second, okay, because I... No, no, you're fine. I'm 47. I find things difficult sometimes. <laughs> they say he's become obsessed with plastic surgery. At that yeah. moment when you met him, was he talking about this at all? No, no, no. He wasn't... No, he wasn't talking about that. What's the cat got to do with plastic surgery? Um, he got... He gets... He's got surgery to make himself look more like the cat. <laughs> and, and, and the serious thing, I read this this morning, this is what's, what's important for you in your relationship, is that he is spending money that, frankly, as a couple, you don't have, right? Yeah, he spent $11,000 on surgery and he's lost his job now. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm I know, it's important to your I'm life. Okay. Hey, he's called Mike for being living six years. Let's get Mike on the Jeremy Cow show, he's coming that way. I can only imagine. Or rather, Deck. I can only imagine what well, this is going to be. <laughs> what we do at home. <laughs> cat stuff sometimes. He does cat stuff sometimes. Yeah, he's like that, you know, goes at my legs and muzzles them or like does like this. This woman things. says, welcome to the show, that she had absolutely no idea when she married you six years ago that this was an obsession. <laughs> Smudge obviously meant so much to you. Smudge was the, was the best friend I ever had growing up on the farm. <laughs> and when that cat died, part of me died too. <laughs> so that might sound a little bit weird to you guys, but... You know, underneath all of this, I'm still the same guy. This is about you two. This isn't about me. Tell him how you feel. I just feel like you're not the same guy anymore. You're not acting the same. Janine, I have the same heart. Jeremy's dealing with the situation very well. Time to up the ante. You want to eat cat food? It's just... <laughs> it's just me. It's just me. It's... You... No, you want to use a litter box? <laughs> <laughs> That's not... <laughs> He's like, you want to use, <laughs> you want to use a litter box? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how the hell they came up with this idea. I really don't. No, you want to use a litter box? <laughs> That's not really normal, though, is it? No, I add another thing into this story. You, you go next door to the neighbour because she treats you better than she does. Well, what's that all about? Is this That's where I get the cat food. She gives me the cat food. <laughs> people at home, people at home, with the greatest respect, are thinking, "All oh, right, okay." So he misses his cat. He's had plastic surgery. He bought round next door to the neighbour for a quickie. What's going on? It only sounds crazy because you don't understand. If you try and use a litter tray, then you'll understand. If you use... I don't want to use a litter tray. I want to use the toilet. <laughs> the point is, I actually take this the right way. I don't care what you do. It's her, your wife. It, it, tell him. But I've told you, Judy. Please. I'm still the same guy. I'm still the same guy. Really? No, I can't live like this anymore. I can't. You can't be a man and wife if you're gonna go sleep under cars and do all the nasty. <laughs> 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 it's like we can't be a man and wife if you're gonna go and sleep under cars. <laughs> oh, what the fuck am I watching? Man and wife, if you're gonna go sleep under cars and keep on mousing. No, this is, this is, at some point, Jeremy Cole's got to be thinking like, this, this, they're having me on, seriously. You bought a mouse in? <laughs> I regret that now. <laughs> I know I come from a different planet, oh. quite obviously. <laughs> I mean, you miss this cat so much, you've had plastic surgery. Anybody can see that. And is this something that you're going to continue doing or what? At the moment, I, I'm, I'm kind of happy with how I look and how I feel. You have the cat's ashes, apparently. Yeah, he takes them everywhere. He took them on our honeymoon. You have a picture. you got to let go. you got to let go of him. I feel, when, when I have Smudge's ashes with me, I feel like... Smudge is still here and he's part of But he's, he's just part a of us. cat. Jeremy has completely fallen for the story. But how will he deal with the arrival of Smudge? Is that the cat's ashes? <laughs> That's Smudge's urn. He brought him with him. 
And I need you to just... <laughs> right, this is, this is seriously Smudgy's Ashes, right? Yeah. See, see, honey, like, we need to stop. You've just got to stop. No, stop it! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the New York Health and Safety Department have heard there's a dangerous <laughs> cat on the loose and they're on the hunt oh, to find it. The Chief Health and Safety Inspector of the Tri-State Area. You have dangerous cats what is in the studio. <laughs> Let the cat! Let the cat! Yeah! Are you Jeremy Cowser? <laughs> what the hell do you think I am? Jeremy Cowser. <laughs> this studio is not a place for a big cat. Therefore, so this the studio... Cat is a right, sir. <laughs> the studio now has to be shut down as decreed by the Safety and Health Act of 1970. In fact, you're going to have to face the charges on Ant and Dex Saturday Night Take. <laughs> 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 imagine, imagine going through all that evidence as a show not clocking on at all, just to be told that like you're being pranked by Ant and Deck. I mean, like fair play to him for like pulling this off, but like <laughs> I don't know. Like it is the case that he's in the US that like you're not going to be thinking that like someone on the stage in front of you, you're not going to look at him and think that's Deck, that's Deck. It's got to be Deck, it's Deck. You're not, you're not going to think that. This this was brilliant. No, I'm not going to lie. This this was funny as hell. Oh, no way. <laughs> Can we just say on record what a fantastic sport he is? Give him a round of applause. Jeremy Cup, come <laughs> That, that was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, good. Jeremy. Jeremy, brilliant. And you didn't suspect a thing all the way through that? The problem I had was that my right hand man of eight years, Tom McClellan, who's going to be named and shamed, kept <laughs> saying to me in my ear, This is real. This poor woman is crying. Don't you remember the lizard man in America? Yeah. This is just. And I kept thinking, Right, OK, just go with it. Uh, slightly when you came out, I thought... <laughs> slightly? Something's going on. Something. It's, 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 the, it's that My moment. life is weird and this is just <laughs> <even> more weird. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> even suspected it was us, though, at no, all. No, I didn't. And, and uh, you know, no, go on, you that got me. That moment when you left over and you went, I know this is important to you. Don't rub me <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> but he was like, she's really, really upset. And I was going, how did... This oh, is yeah. <laughs> it was one of the best undercovers Loved we've it. ever done. And as a thank you, Jeremy, because you were so brilliant, <laughs> we've got the contestants. <laughs> there you are, Jeremy. Just here now. We've got, if you have a look, it's got Andy Deck 1, Jeremy Callan Hill, because can you know I, what I say? Can I say, <laughs> that says, Anton Deck 1, Jeremy Callan Hill, I'll make a public vow right now. Oh, no! You better, you better look over your shoulders. I'm sorry. For you, He's not a man you want after I'm you, is he? Really 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 uh, thank listen, you. thank you so much. It's nice to have you, and it's, it's lovely pleasure. to see you looking so well. Thanks, brother. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Okay, see, so you got you got to tell me now if you've seen this before. You got to tell me if Jeremy Cole actually got them back because that's one that I need to watch. I did. I did not expect this to be as funny as it was. <laughs> I really didn't. I can't believe I've never seen this before. This this was hilarious. Some of, some of the stuff we're decking there that <laughs> you want to sleep under cars and you brought a mass in that that just that just killed it. <laughs> This was this was this was hilarious. I really really did enjoy this, guys. Listen, thank you all for. I need to stop now. Seriously, that my math is actually killing me from the comedy that I've been doing today. So I'm gonna take a break. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Leave any of your requests in the comments down below. Until next time, take it easy. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Be kind. I will see you in the next one. I'm done. <laughs>